Hi, Kim. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. You're the first chatter for once. This is weird. I go Bobo. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Ever since I've started limiting who can comment on my IG reels, I just get the nicest comments. It's almost like those who, like, want to engage will be nice. Hmm. How we doing? It is June 2nd, the first day of Pride Month, guys. Top one if you're gay. <laughs> I can't. It's well to think that it's been a year since I've enabled Peace I Do Pride. Hi, welcome in! I saw you fall this morning, thank you. Can we get some yo's? Hi, animal. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. But welcome in. Guys, face cam on in one minute, and I'm not even joking. I also would never lie. Nah, sometimes I gotta lie. I was really bad last week. I had ice cream twice. <laughs> I got I got Dairy Queen on Thursday. Because I donated plasma, and I was like, you know what? I want ice cream. So I got... The it was the strawberry cheesecake. I almost said McFlurry, but that's not what it is. Blizzard, that's what it's called. And then yesterday, my sister she was like, "Hey, can we get some ice cream?" And I was like, "Sure, if you're buying." Because there's a whole bunch of like local food places nearby. That sounds good, dude. You know what? I've tried like most of the flavors at Dairy Queen, and the strawberry cheesecake is the best because it just has like whole strawberries in it. It's so nice. You know what else is nice? Life. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, good afternoon. It is 1045, June 2nd, Sunday, a rare weekend stream. Also, we had Computer, Cold Bobo, and Animal on the starting soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. The plan today is simple. I need to stop doing the plan bit. It's so dumb. Wait, I need to turn my phone off. My all of day, I forgot to disconnect my Bluetooth. Okay. Should we do a little catch up? I streamed on Friday. We did a nine to five work stream. It was actually a pretty good game. I actually really liked the game we played. 
I genuinely might play it on my own. And then yesterday, what did I do yesterday? Oh yeah, yesterday I had to go shopping. You know, woman be shopping. I like grocery shopping. Dude, okay, I have a little story about that. So, I was at the checkout, and it's Saturday. It's Saturday, right? So it's busy. You know, all the mothers and fathers are shopping. They Everybody has like two shopping carts full of shit. So it was busy. I hate going on weekends, but you know what? We were out of food, so I had to go. Yes, I'm PST. I'm from Washington. Huge W. Also, I did my nails this morning. For pride. I haven't done my nails in a month. And I think they look pretty good. But it was really bad because the reason why I didn't put my nails for a month was because, like, I had little streaks. Because I got bruises on them because I just kept dropping shit on my fingers. So I had to wait for the bruises to go away, but, like, I kept biting my nails. So this is, like, finally I won't bite them. They're cute. Thank you. Guys, imagine a wholesome chatter right away. What is going on? <laughs> okay, anyway, so I was at the grocery store. I got all my shit in, like, 30 minutes. I was speed running. Also because my list was very small. Because I'm only, I, I usually go like once a week because usually you should try to buy meats and stuff as fresh as you can. Like don't buy chicken for like two weeks worth, you know? So I speed run, I get in line, and I was blessed. All the other lines were full and there was only one line that had one person. I was like, oh my god, I'm so lucky. So I got in line, but the lady in front of me, it was a grandma and she had her little kid in the shopping cart. The kid was adorable and I kept making like faces at it. Um, I was, cause like I had my mask on, so like I was doing like weird eyebrow poses and it was really cute. And I, the cashier that I had specifically, he's super nice and he's also really quick. Like he, he goes super fast. And when I put stuff with the conveyor belt, I purposely make sure to have the barcodes facing either the front or facing down. Cause that's where the scanners are. So pro tip, if you want to be nice to your cash register person or person who scans your shit, Put the barcodes facing towards the scanner. It makes their day. I've gotten a few comments from workers being like, do you check people out? Like, at the grocery store. <laughs> no items. <laughs> and I was like, no, I, I just saw somebody talk about this online. And you know, you know what? Little things make it easier for the next guy. So, I'm putting my shit on the conveyor belt. And, of course, this guy is super nice. So, this lady, she had a whole cart of shit, okay? So, like, usually... I've seen this guy work. He could get that in and out in like three, four minutes. Like if he speed ran, right? But after every single item he scanned, he would hold it up and like shake it and make a face at the little kid, which was honestly adorable. But it made him take, I'm not even kidding, like 12 minutes to check her out. Like it was super cute, but dude, he like, Doubled his speed run time. <laughs> so, and I'm trying to be like super patient. Like the people, there were people lining up behind me and then they like got out of the line because they saw like how long it was taking. <laughs> but it was so cute. <laughs> and then he checks me out. I, I'm like running to get to my bus on time. Because the bus routes only run every so often on the weekends. And as I'm running to the bus stop, I see the bus zoom by. If I would have gotten out a minute sooner, I would have caught it. So him taking an extra, like, eight minutes to check her out missed me the bus. Which is fine. Because, like, it was honestly, like, a really, like, human and adorable reaction. But still, I had to wait outside for, like, 30 minutes. Thank God it wasn't raining. But yeah, so that was yesterday. And then I hung out with my favorite sister. Okay. I think... That is all lore update-wise. Also, I have a huge zit here. It won't go away. It popped up yesterday morning, and it only got bigger. I'm making the music a little bit louder for me. Okay. Should we get into the meat and potato of today's show? Oh, wait! It is June. It is Pride Month. So, guys, show your pride! Wait, I have a little copy paste to... Guys, show your pride by subscribing for free with Prime. We're going to do that all month long. Guys, can we get some Primes? Um, Trying to think if there's... Oh, yeah. New YouTube video. It was published yesterday morning. I learned how to drive in-game in an edit from the birthday stream. Click the link. Go watch it later. Anything else? 
I don't think so. The only other things is I will have the best of May compilation done. Probably by Wednesday. I'm going to work on it Tuesday. And no narcs, but I think Ethan might win this month. Oh, I don't want to VIP Ethan. Nobody tell him I said that. If he's lurking, I'll just shut up. Don't say anything, Ethan. Grr. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot. There's going to be two streams today. Two streams. First, we're doing a quick, you know, Pride Month stream. We're doing an annual Pride Month BuzzFeed stream. And then I have to go make lunch for my sister because she wants a hot meal. And then I'll go live later today for the monthly um, follower journal calligraphy. So if you follow during May or very early June, you will have your name written. I'm probably going to do that stream at like maybe 1 or 2 p.m. Because it'll take me like an hour to like make lunch. So yeah. I won't tell anyone. I'm telling. I, I think you guys are both gaslighting me. I don't know who to believe. Okay. Are we ready? Also, I feel like my cam is lagging, but I don't know why. No say. Two streams? I know. Two streams in one day, but they're both going to be short. I'd want to... I would do it in one stream, but I like having two VODs because then each VOD has a separate title. It's better for, like, click-through rate. It's not good for, like, my average viewership, but it's better for, like, the VOD watchers and also the video editors, which is going to be me. Let's be honest, I can't afford an editor. Wait, bad news, guys? <laughs> okay, I know I said I was going to launch new paintings at the very beginning of June. But bad news. Uh, my sister, she can't donate plasma for a month. Because her, her veins are too, like, fucked up. Because she has, like, teeny, 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 tiny veins. So every time she goes, they, like, fuck up her arms. So, they said she can't go for a month because her veins have to, like, get bigger. So, because all her plasma money was for grocery, so that means any money that I get from plasma has to go to grocery now. So, now I can't buy, like, paint until the very end of June. So, guys, painting's probably not launching until the very end of the month. I'm sorry. You know, we gotta eat. Hi, Mac. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I'm gonna see if I can... Whoa! I was lagging a lot there. It feels like I'm lagging. I don't know why. Like, it looks like I'm at, like, 59 frames per second, not 60. Okay, that... That looks fine. I also messed with my encoding settings yesterday. Hopefully it works. Oh, also my fan settings. We learned that anytime I play like a PC game, we gotta boot, boot up our fans. Okay, and I'm stalling. You guys know the drill. Say hi, YouTube. This video will be out on this Saturday. You know, YouTube frogs eating good. Okay. <laughs> I didn't script on my- I need to genuinely start writing out the intros. Okay. It is June. So it is once that... Wait, fuck. I messed up. Editor, cut it out. <laughs> it is June, so it's that time of year once again for Pride. All the gays can have fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Last year, we figured out what type of gay I am. Or if... Or what type... Wait, shit. Is that what we did last year? Oh, wait. Last year we figured out my identity. Okay. Last year we figured out what my identity was, and all the quizzes told me that I was either pan or bi. So this year we're going to figure out how gay I am. Am I straight, very gay, or somewhere in between? That is what we're going to set out to do. And in order to find that, today we're going to be doing more BuzzFeed quizzes. Everybody buckle in. It's going to be a fun stream. If you want to watch live, you can watch on twitch.tv slash peacein underscore 17. And if you're watching on YouTube, um, click the like button and subscribe right now. Rate the Target Pride Collection. You know, everybody does that shit. And I don't know what else I could add to it, honestly. Like, dude, look, look at me. I'm wearing a jean jacket vest. Like, who wants to hear fashion advice from Peace In? Type 1. Okay, 
Okay, I genuinely feel like my computer is lagging. Why do people rag on it? I think it's because it's like too camp, almost. I think that's why some people don't like it. Okay, why is everybody typing one? You guys have seen my fits. And by fits, I mean just like torso up. I never show my ass on stream. Wait, I have once. <laughs> okay, wait. I Guys, is my stream lagging? I cannot tell. Does it look fine? In my preview, it looks like it's lagging. One of the stream ideas I do have written down is, like, making outfits for my viewers. But that's, like, too hard. I don't have any fashion sense. Okay, maybe my chrome is lagging. I don't know. I think the pride collection has gotten smaller. I didn't shop last year. And I'll be honest, I live in Washington. It's, so like, a very liberal area. I still don't feel, like, super comfortable wearing, like, pride stuff in public. Like, I have one coat that has, like, a rainbow stripe on it. But I'm still, like, kind of scared. Okay, I'm stalling. I've done enough yapping. What quiz should we do first? I have four quizzes selected. Classic. We gotta start with a BuzzFeed quiz. This checklist will determine your straight number. Updated 2023, so last year. Fairly recent quiz. Find out with this simple, absolutely, and completely accurate checklist. You're desperate to know, obviously, so let's find out. You get one point for each when you check. Your total number of points determines your straight number, and that number de determines... And that number determines whether you are gay or straight. Well, it's hard because, like, I'm a little bit in between. I identify as bi, so hopefully I'll get, like, right smack in the middle. Guys, feel free to play along at home. Is your favorite Britney Spears song toxic? I would say no, but I'm not going to lie. It's the only one I can, like, list off in my head, so I'm going to say yeah. Is your favorite Carly Rae Jepsen song, Call Me Maybe? Okay, similar dilemma. I don't know any of her other songs. Or I can't, like, list them off the top of my head. This is not looking good for me. Wait, is Call Me Maybe the only Carly Rae Jepsen song you even know at all? Shut up. How did it know? Do you lose your mind when they play Shut Up and Dance at weddings? Okay, I've never been to a wedding. The last time I went to a wedding was literally when I was, like, five. And I remember begging my dad to have a piece of cake, like, before the ceremony. <laughs> so, no. Is Perfect by Ed Sheeran the perfect for, Is Perfect by Ed Sheeran the perfect first dance song at a wedding? No, that'd be cringe. Do I like Ed Sheeran? Uh, no. Some of his songs are aight, but they're too overplayed. Do you have no idea who Little Mix is? Okay, who's Little Mix? Do you love Giant Jenga? I've never played it. Have you not posted a new Instagram picture in over a year? Guys, go follow my IG, Peason underscore 17. I need cloud. If I get cloud, I will, I will post. Or if I have money, I will hire a photographer once a month to come in and take pictures of me. But I have not posted in a year. I don't know what to post. All the music questions? Yeah, I'm a fake gay. How do you not know who Little Mix is? I don't know. I literally listen to, like, the same four artists every day. I listen to uh, Post Malone, Hin, a lot of Korean soap pop, and The Weeknd. That's, like, my mix. Do I have any empty liquor bottles on top of my cabinets? No, I do not drink. Literally, the only alcohol we have in our house is wine and i use that for cooking cooking do i own anything with a grumpy cat on it no <laughs> do you say love wins okay i only say that ironically or more often than not i will say love is love i do not say love wins they're like a walmart fifth harmony wait may i love fifth harmony wait maybe i'll like them 
Do you have inspirational quotes like live, laugh, love in your home? No, but my mom did. Do you call your friends the boys? No, because I only have one singular friend. I do not have plural. Do you use the word buddy to refer to friends? No. I think buddy is like kind of passive aggressive. Like, hey, bud. When you hear that, you're like, oh. Do you refer to individual friends as my man? <laughs> no. I, do, I use dude, but not my man. Do you refer to babies as little man or little bud? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, I think it's how many... Everyone you check off counts as a straight point. I think, I, I think I'm gay. Can you open a bottle with a lighter? I've never had alcohol. Do you love St. Patrick's Day? No. I don't like getting lit. Have you ever participated in a SantaCon? No. I mean, I, I have the build for it, but no. Do you own an acoustic guitar? No. Have you ever bought? Have you ever brought your acoustic guitar out to a party? No. Do you love grilling? No, it's too hot. Have you refer? Dude, I cannot talk. <clears throat> have you ever referred to hot dogs as dogs, as in grilling up some dogs? No. Do you drink regular soda? What's regular soda? Like non-sparkling soda? Oh wait, yeah, sparkling soda is like really gay. <laughs> no, I don't drink soda anymore. Do you own a vest? Okay. This technically was a jean jacket that I cut the sleeves off to make a vest. So yes, but it's literally the only vest I own. I think vests are uggy. Because in my head, I'm like, why not just wear, like, a coat or a long sleeve or a short sleeve? Like, you don't need a vest. The only time you should wear a vest if you're going skiing. But this is the only vest I own. And it, it's, like, the gayest thing I own. That's why I wear it every year. Have you gone to a Dave Matthews Band concert? Who megalo? <laughs> Are your hands down your pants right now? No, they're literally up here. They're up here. I need a moment. Do you think Grindr is a quotation mark dating app? Yeah. Yeah, right? By definition. Do you love karaoke? I think I would love karaoke. I like singing. And if I ever had like a lot of friends, I would do karaoke. Have you ever sung Mr. Brightside at karaoke? I've never gone. Do you like walking slow? Okay, this is ableist. I walk slow because I'm disabled. And I like looking at the environment. I, I see, like, so many little details when I walk slow. I see, like, little bugs and certain light refractions. I like walking slow. Do you like hot coffee more than ice? No, iced coffee all the way. Wait, that's so gay. <laughs> is it a sin to drink iced coffee in winter? No, I love ice cream during winter, too. Do you not even drink iced coffee at all? No, it's the only thing I I drink, if it's coffee. Do you drink glasses of milk? No. I recently learned that the calcium you get from milk is only effective up until you're like five years old or something. So you drinking glasses of milk as an adult thinking you're going to get stronger or taller, is it's, it's not going to work. I love iced coffee. Um, guys, type one if you're gay. When you hear the word poppers, do you think of food? Yes. I Okay. My first intuition is food. But I, I know what poppers is. But I think of jalapeno poppers from Applebee's. When you hear the word robin, do you think of a bird? Yeah. Okay, I don't, I don't know the joke. <laughs> do you still like Justin Timberlake? I would have to say no, because the last thing I heard from him was from the Trolls movie, and that was years ago. I know he has new music that's come out since, but I haven't listened to it. So I would say no, not anymore. Did you just find out Lady Gaga could sing in the last two years? No, she does Vegas, so she's always been singing. Do you think Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper are dating? I, I don't know. Do you know how to play lacrosse? <laughs> no. 
don't think lacrosse is a very prominent sport in America. Do you own a gingham print shirt? So gingham print is like the cross hatching you'll see on picnic tables, like the red and white print. I do not own one of those. I'm not a farmer. Do you use a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner? No, I feel like this is attacking the men. Have you ever participated in No Shave November? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. You know how to get around No Shave November? You wax. Moving on. Do you participate in fantasy football? No, I hate gambling. Is your favorite Kelly Clarkson song since you've been gone? No, it's... I don't remember what the song is called. Breakaway! It's the one that was in the Anne Hathaway movie. Breakaway. Have you ever participated in a gender reveal? No. Do you have a friend named Cheese? No. Have you ever been to a fish concert? No. What about the Grateful Dead? No. Have you ever stolen a traffic cone? No, but my dad would. <laughs> Do you love Queer Eye? I only watched the first, first two seasons, but I did like it. Have you ever taken a picture with a fish? No. Do you have a wooden American flag in your living room? No. Do you want a man cave? I want a woman cave. Do you love the show Friends? Okay, I'm 25 years old, but I still haven't seen Friends. Is that bad? Do you love the movie The Big Lebowski? I've never seen it. Do you make margaritas with the bottle margarita mix you buy in stores? No, I don't drink. And lastly, and most importantly, have you ever used the word hubby? Like a work hubby? Or a cubby? No, I don't. Okay, I think, <laughs> I think I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> you checked more than 66% of quiz taker. Out of 61, I scored 14. You're definitely gay. You have a statistically low straight number and therefore can assume you are gay. Thank God for that. Man, I'm only 25% straight. But I've only dated a guy, so is, I don't think this is accurate. Well, it's confirmed. Let's look at the actual percentage. Fourteen divided by sixty-one. I'm exactly twenty-three point three three repeating straight. So that means seventy-six point six six repeating gay. That sounds about right. You know, I think girlies are cute, but men are also cool. Okay, so that was our first quiz. Time for the next one. You know what else is time for? Me to tell you if you're new here to click that follow button. You get cool emotes and. You get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? And also, it is Pride Month, so show your pride by subscribing for free with Amazon Prime. Guys, do it. Okay, next quiz. Wait, I need to write down my percentage for the editor, which is going to be me. Okay, next quiz. Another BuzzFeed quiz. How gay are you? Updated 2023. Finally, an answer to the question that's been puzzling you all this time. You've come here with a question, and we have the definitive answer. You'll find out exactly how gay you are once and for all. Enjoy, and answer honestly, please. It's important for the science. Also, guys, it is 11-11. Make a wish right now, and it will come true. Number one, choose a color. Red, blue, pink, yellow, lilac, or green. Green all the way. Pick your favorite Beyonce song. Flawless, Single Ladies, Ruin the World, 2BH, I'm Not Into Beyonce, Crazy in Love, Drunk in Love. Single Ladies is a classic. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> wait! Wait, I need to read that first. <laughs> okay, it's just lips. It, they're kissing. Okay, okay, this is fine. This is fine. Dude, it's BuzzFeed. <laughs> Wait, do I need to, like, pre-vet these now? 
Dude, what the fuck? Okay. Do you enjoy consensual relations or feel an attraction to members of the same sex? Uh, quite a bit, yeah. <laughs> what city would you most like to live in? New York, London, Paris, San Francisco, Tokyo, or Moscow? Um, Tokyo. I do want to retire and go to Japan. That is the dream. Hi, Electra. Can we get some yo's? Welcome in. What's your drink of choice? Beer, gin and tonic, white wine, cocktail, stout, or whiskey? I don't drink. But you know what? I do cook with white wine, and I do not take a sip in between. Do you like having relations with people the same gender? I don't know. I haven't experienced it yet. Quite a lot. <laughs> I'll say sort of. I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't had a GF yet. What's your ideal Saturday night? Clubbing until 5. Dinner in theater. Quiet drink with friends. Doing something new. House party or night in with Netflix. Okay, I'll be honest. I stay home. I stay home. Have you ever felt attracted to somebody of the same sex? Uh, yeah. Obviously, every year in school, I legit had a crush on a boy and a girl every single year. Like, I always knew I was queer, but I didn't come out out until I graduated. So about seven years now and still no GF. Which U.S. president do you most identify with? Barack Obama, William Howard Taft, Ronald Reagan, Abe Lincoln, James Buchanan, or JFK? I don't, what is this question trying to figure out? Um, JFK, because I feel like I'm being watched all the time. What's your favorite root vegetable? Carrot? Okay. <laughs> I was like, that's not a carrot. <laughs> Jerusalem artichoke, potato, sweet potato, ginger, or beet? I hate beets. Potato is not really. It's a starch. That to me does not count as a vegetable. I love a good artichoke. If you could pick your ideal partner for a romantic date, what qualities would they have? They'd be the same sex as me, preferably the same sex, but mostly, you know, hot. <laughs> Don't care about the sex, care about the wine. Ideally the opposite sex, but it's no biggie. They must be the opposite sex, you hear me? Or dates are boring. Um, I don't like any of these. I'll, I'll say the second one, because if I like somebody, even if they're kind of ugly, then I think they're hot. Like, I have to like the person. <clears throat> Pick a weather phenomenon. Flooding. Little fluffy clouds. Sunshine. Tornado. Ball lightning. Or big pretty rainbow. Rainbow. Because it's a rare. It's like pulling a hot... Wait, I need to see what the next one is. <laughs> God, it literally has a butt. I cannot show that. Oh my god. Dude, it's literally like... Dude, I cannot show that. Good thing I clicked away. It's literally like butts. <laughs> Holy shit, that was good. Twitch staff, don't watch this stream. It says, which sex is the sexiest? All sexes are sexy. I love NBs. No, if I show it, I'll get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. Okay, this is... I guess we have to vet every single question now. Pick an arbitrary box. Box A, box B, box 3, box 4, this box, or screw your boxes. Yeah, screw your boxes. Okay, we're going to full cam. <laughs> Dude, you guys can look up the quiz yourself. It literally has like two bare asses. I'm not showing it. Okay, next question. A plane leaves New York at 4.15 p.m. local time. Bound for London, traveling at 500 miles per hour. Another plane leaves London at 9.30 p.m. local time, heading in the opposite direction. 
traveling at 550 miles per hour. If they maintain a constant airspeed, do you ever, <laughs> do you ever want to smash somebody of the same sex? Post the link on Twitter, guys. Stop. I can't do that. But it will be in the YouTube video description because, like, I have to. I hate questions like this. Yeah, it's like it's always meant to bait people. Wait, what? Yes. Still yes, you cannot trick me with the math puzzles. <laughs> yes! Back slowly away. Awkward wavy hand gesture. No, Storm's out of room. This quiz did not represent me at all. Yeah, you cannot trick me with math puzzles. Yay! How gay are you? You're pretty gay. <laughs> Wait, it said pretty like I'm cute. You are pretty gay. Oh, wait, I just realized pretty, like, the adjective, and then also pretty, like, a lot is spelled the same. Or gay is bad at spelling. Okay, you're pretty gay. You really enjoy having sexual experiences with members of the same sex, although you have occasionally had experiences with members of the opposite sex. Okay, I haven't had it either. Wink. <laughs> in general, you're physically and emotionally attracted to people of the same sex, but you can't rule out that maybe you, you'll have a relationship with someone of the opposite sex, and that's all brilliant. Are they British? But yeah. Ain't no way. Guys, Rainy is showing her pride by subscribing for free with Prime. Oh my god, guys, it worked. Thank you, Rainy. Can we get some Wainies in chat? Thank you, I appreciate that. But yeah, guys, I didn't get a percentage, but it, it's assuming that I smash girls, and I have yet to do that, so. One day I will, surely. Maybe on my wedding night, I don't know. I gotta save myself for marriage. I can sound bit that ain't no way. Wait, no. Here, Rainy Clip here, if you, if you want the sound bit. Ain't no way! There you go. Okay, next quiz. Hopefully there's no butts in this one. Jesus, that was genuinely so close. I, I legit, if it, if it would have shown on a stream, I would have had to delete the VOD. Like, I'm not even kidding. Because I think Twitch's TOS is... You can show nudity as long as it's part of a game, but you cannot show pictures of real nudity or draw nudity. It has to be part of the game. That's why, like, people can, like, play GTA V and you can see, like, the strip clubs. But otherwise, you can't show it. So, guys, I almost lost the channel. <laughs> and during Pride Month? <laughs> okay, I, okay, I guess I should start skimming. Okay, this one should be safe. <laughs> Okay, I hate the quizzes where you do where it's like you have to click through, like you can't scroll. Okay, I'm skimming. Thank you for the follow, plus one! Imagine a call to action working. Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, this next quiz should be safe. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna skim through my last quiz just to make sure. Guys, can we get some yo's for the new follower? Thank you. Yeah, I'm not looking at the questions. I'm looking at, like, the pictures. Okay, the, the last two quizzes are safe. There's no buts. Thank God. Okay, are we good? I gotta see if I'm lagging.
Next quiz. Quiz. How gay are you? Really? Published 2021. Updated 2021. From Capital. Ever wondered how gay you are? Luckily, there's a quiz for that. Let's begin. What color of the rainbow speaks to your soul? I love green. Which animal do you most closely identify with? A bear, wolf, otter, or a cat? Dude, I love cats. I'm also a wimp. Choose an old-timey word which best describes your aura. Root cake. <laughs> Wait, I thought that was a slur. Can I even say that? Nancy Muffer? Wait, pansy is, like, kind of rude to call somebody still. I remember I called my friend a pansy, and he got really mad. This was back in high school. What is a mu- is- Wait- I, okay, I think muff is a body part. Don't tell me, please. I'm gonna say fruitcake. Fruitcake is pretty good. What are your feelings on milk? I prefer hot milk. Not into it, to be honest. It's the lactose intolerance for me. For I handed her an All Stars 3. I don't get the last joke, and I think maybe the gays like that one. Um, I don't, I don't like milk. Only your mother's. Anyway. How do you like your eggs in the morning? Fried, poached. I'm a vegan, you murderer. <laughs> Scrambled. I like my eggs to be gay. Why are you asking me this? How? Okay, how can eggs be gay? Maybe if you buy the woke organic eggs, but I, I don't know how else eggs can be gay. I'm sitting outside in a hammock. That sounds pretty gay, I'll be honest. <clears throat> Do you think we'll get demonetized by how many times I'm saying gay? I love a fried egg, but you cannot go wrong with a scramble. And I've recently started using chopsticks to scramble my eggs. And the texture is quite delightful. Pick the gayest rock. Oh my god, they're so gay. <laughs> okay, which looks the most phallic? But this one does have the bisexual sunset behind it. I, I think this one looks... This one looks like it could go inside somebody. Anyway. Why are you like this? Because I was born this way. Yaz mama boots the house down. I am not well? <laughs> Wait, too real? As I said, I'm lactose intolerant. I have daddy issues, like what? Okay. Yes, I have issues. And you got them too. I'm gonna say I'm not well. I'm mentally ill. But I'm fine. Do you know who this person is? No. Calculating? Two gain of function based on your highly <laughs> based on our highly scientific quiz, you fall under the category of two gain of function. Have a nice day. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Maybe that's why I have executive dysfunction, not because of my depression, it's because I'm gay. Adding that to my chart. Two gay to function. Should I tell my doctor this? Okay. <laughs> one more quiz. One final quiz. So far, I've scored 76% gay. Too gay to function. And, like, pretty gay. <laughs> These quizzes are so silly. <clears throat> I'm checking my log files really quick. Because it says my OBS is laggy, but it shouldn't be. Yeah, it says there's no issues. I don't get why ever You know, it's the, probably the stupid drivers I had to download.
Okay. Guys. We have one final quiz left. How do you think I will score? Put your prediction. <laughs> How do you think I'll score? Put your predictions in the chat. This is from pinknews.com. What percentage gay are you? This quiz will give you an exact score. Published 2016? Dang, that's like a year after gay marriage was legalized nationally in the States. Dang. This quiz can help find out how gay you really are with an exact percentage. Ooh, put your numbers in the chat. While some people identify as 100% gay or 100% heterosexual, for many people, the reality of their sexuality percentage lies somewhere in between. In fact, the Kinsey Scale, aka the Heterosexual Homosexual Rating Scale, was developed by Dr. Alfred Kinsey in 1948 and used to measure homo human sexuality. Wait, I want to take that. Okay, let me open that in a new tab. Oh. Apparently, it's not a real test. It was just like a study that was done. So that's a lie. It's not a real test. I think I'm 64.2. And you know what? That's still a D. Wait. <laughs> Maybe that's what you like. Anyway. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Welcome in. Did I swear to God all my viewers are gay? Okay, Kim and Max, stop flirting. We know you guys are dating. <laughs> Don't flirt in the chat. <laughs> That's a C in Canada? No, no, legit. In the past, like, few months... Some states have lowered the requirements for letter grades, so now what was previously a D is now a C in Florida. But that's because everybody in Florida is D-U-M. Okay, let's go back to the quiz. Okay, this is about the quiz that is, like, not real. Now we're in. What percentage gay are you? The pink news quiz. Let's begin. Hell yeah. Ludwig music. Pick a shade. Red, purple, green, pink, black, or blue. Ooh, black is a color now. You know, I gotta go with my goat green. Pick a queen. Queen Victoria. Queen Letizia. Queen Elizabeth II, Empress Michiko, Chichi Laru, or Queen Margaret II. Um, you know, I gotta honor my late queen, Lizzie. Your best friend says they managed to get tickets to see Britney Spears. What do you say? Pass out. <laughs> I don't like Britney. Britney who? Oh God, yes. I want to stay in and watch sports. I hope they mean esports. Or can I get a Slipknot concert instead? Okay, I... I don't like concerts. I don't want to say I don't like Britney. You know, I would say I want to stay in and watch eSports. Pick a chocolate. White? Caramel? Dark? Milk? With nuts? Ayo. I don't do chocolate. Okay, out of context, that sounds bad. Clippers don't. I'm a sucker for white chocolate. Even though I know it's technically not chocolate, it's just butter. I love white chocolate. Pick a Justin Trudeau. Where's him doing the Aladdin cosplay? I want to pick that one. Loving Justin. Serious Justin. Panda Justin. Boxing Justin. Goatee Justin or Young Justin. Okay, I'm from the States. Literally, the only thing I know about Trudeau is his Aladdin costume. and that I'm not even kidding. That's all I know. Okay, which one does he look the cutest in? I don't, okay, I don't like the long hair as much. I'm gonna say panda, because it's so cute. Pick an Ellen. Coming out, Ellen. 
Doggy Ellen, Oscars Ellen, TV show Ellen, 90s Ellen, or Sesame Street Ellen. <laughs> Okay, even before, like, Ellen was scrutinized for, like, being, like, a jerk to her staff and just, like, really mean in private, I didn't really like her. Like, the only time I saw her was when she was on TV. And sometimes my mom would put her on. Pick a number. I gotta get, I gotta get close to my screen. 7,500,000. 1654. 56, 78, 2, or I don't do numbers. I'm going to say I don't do numbers because I don't care about body count because if they have a higher number, then they would be better. And also, my favorite number is 17, and that's not an option. Pick a vegetable. Okay, that's a root vegetable. Sweet potato, cucumber, turnip, onion, carrot, or I don't do veg. It's meat all the time for me. <laughs> um... Um. What? I can't be vegan. I can't be vegan. Calculating. <gasps> Eighty percent gay. Although on the whole you're firmly in the gay column, every now and then you like to do things a bit differently, and there's nothing wrong with that. Man, I'm scoring pretty high. I'm passing these gay quizzes. 80%? That's a solid B. Hell yeah. Okay, I think me saying hell yeah is a very straight thing to say, but I say it ironically. 80% gay. Nice. I'm proud of that. Okay, guys. We have determined that I'm still gay. To quote, in looking at my chart results, I scored, quote, pretty gay. Quote, too gay to function. And then for, num for numbers, I scored 76.66 repeating and also 80%. And you know what? That's passing. I'll take it. Guys, happy pride. Have fun. Be safe when you're going to parades and stuff. But you know what? Love is love. And I love love. Thanks for watching. There we go. I'm so sorry for you. You have a girlfriend. Like, how, how are you upset about that? You're living my dream. Wait, is Kim still in chat? <laughs> Dude, Kim. <laughs> I want to, like, reply to Kim's DM with, like, a joke, but I, I should not. She sent me a TikTok... Where it was this girl who wrote, like, good morning notes for her boyfriend or some shit. It was really cute. But Kim was like, if you're ever down bad for somebody, like, I will stop you along the lines of that. I wanted to reply. You just hate love. But I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm never gonna reply. I just reply with, like, base reacts. I don't, why did you send me that, Kim? I, th I was literally going to tell you, I think you just hate love. There was one time they weren't dating. Wait, it was a crush thing? That's so cringe then. There was one time where I did write a note for my previous partner. Like, I packed him a lunch because he forgot his lunch. So I, I packed him a lunch and I put a note in it and he kept it for a long time. It was cute. I don't, I don't think he still has that note. It was creepy. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize that I thought that was for like her boyfriend, not for like a crush. That is creepy if it was for a crush. <sighs> okay, guys. Wait, the sad song. <laughs> guys, we did get a resub. So you know what time it is. We get to do calligraphy. Hell yeah. But before we whip out the journal, I have to run an ad because we hit exactly or we're going to hit an hour up time today. So, you know what? I get to run some more freaking ads. If you want to avoid that ad, all you got to do is subscribe for $4.99, just $5 or show your pride by subscribing for free with Amazon Prime. Guys, yes, I'm not even kidding. It's free. Isn't that crazy? I know short stream, short stream, but this is for the YouTube video, the YouTube frogs. They need content.
I will be going live again later today in like a few hours, maybe like 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. Because we got a good handful of followers during the month of May. So we're doing that in a separate VOD, okay? So we're going to do calligraphy. I'm going to end stream for two hours and you'll see me in two hours. Okay. Anyway, get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Get boomed. I don't know why my whole computer is laggy. Maybe I should change my fan settings. Oh yeah, my oh yeah, I forgot it's getting hotter now. It's literally 70 outside. My my CPU is at a hundred degrees. <laughs> okay. Uh wait, maybe I should change the fan. Okay, the fans are turning on. Omega oh, lol. So, did you guys enjoy your weekend? Wait, Rainy, if you're in chat, are you going to be streaming today? Also, Mac told me that they're doing a little side quest for you. You better be paying, Mac. Rainy, I think Mac will just take VIP. I think, honestly, that's what they want. They're just trying to leech off of us. I slept a lot. You know what? If your body needs rest, you gotta give it what it needs. I'm here to help Rainy with the tourney if needed. Mac, if you're going to... Help Rainy. You should bring the tournament. That way Rainy wins and she doesn't have to give anybody a prize. Yeah, Rainy, if you're going to steal Mac from me, make sure you treat them well. It's, it's really funny. I offered to pay Mac for some of the help they gave for the Pokemon streams. And they were like, nope. I might be on vacation when the tourney happens. Oh, that's why you're helping. Dang. Oh my god, there's two of me. There we go. Oh wait, this is such a cute page. Pinks and purples? Wait, Rainy subscribed for 19 months. Yeah, Rainy's a rose badge. Cool. I don't have a command for how long you've been a subscriber. I just see it on my end and it says you've been subscribed for 19 months at tier one. Because I think the rose badge is 18. But thank you for giving me your prime and showing your pride. <laughs> It is it is actually bullshit how that one BuzzFeed quiz literally had butts in it. Like BuzzFeed is for teens. They should not be showing butts to teens. Your prime is on June 5th. Dang. Just just make sure you come back though. I demand your prime every single month. You better do it. You know, I donate plasma for you, Rainy. And also for the bank.
Dude, it's so bad, though. The last time I donated, I got... I got bruises on both my arms. So I can't go back for another week. Or another few days. Oh, wait! It does say Tier 1. I'm sorry, Raina. I misread. Oopsie. Guys, Raina's a Tier 1, so now we, we got her hooked. Oh, I think it's- I think I got confused because literally Rainy you always sub with Prime. So it's usually a Prime sub when I see the notif. I just didn't read, I just assumed. And assuming is bad and toxic. But thank you for the tier one. You know what? I'll say it. I like the subscribers more than non-subs. And if you're a non-sub watching, I'm lying. Nah, I'm kidding. Hot take? What is it? Or is my take a hot take? Over everything, I believe in equality. I treat all my chatters the same, unless you're a VIP. Or if you're a sub. Or... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. Guys, you cannot cancel me for this. But... Like, two years on stream, I talked about, like, not enabling tier 2 or tier 3 emotes. Because I believe in equality. But Alpha Rad, he has tier 2 and tier 3 emotes. And I think some of them are literally just the tier 1 emotes, but sped up. Like, he has a something spin emote, and the tier 1 is, like, 1 times speed. Tier 2 is 2 times speed, and tier 3 is, like, 3 times as fast. Like, would, th would that be acceptable? Would you guys cancel me if I did that? Because I only have one tier 2 sub right now, and it's Vic. Like, sh should we give Vic a PSI 2 spin fast emote? <laughs> Mac redeemed, I write your name all cute and stuff, and the color gay. Well, my gay color was green, so I'll do green. You're canceled? No! No! Oh, I gotta change my title. We're doing calligraphy. Guys, use your channel points and I'll write your name. I'm not even kidding. Thank you for redeeming, Kim. Also, Mac, are you going to make fan edits or no? You didn't ask, answer me the last time. Why do people put their headphones over their ears? Rude. Are you, like, quote-tweeting somebody right now? You're, you're supposed to put... Wait, like, uh, are you saying... Is that what... Is that what I'm supposed to do? I think Mac means hair. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I do think it's weird. Yeah, it's weird. It sounds more muffled. If I have my hair in the way. Plus, I think tucking your hair behind your ears is cute. Sims, write that down. But I, I bet if you have thinner hair, you probably don't notice it as much.
<laughs> yeah, also chatters. Only make edits if you want to. But follow the rules if you ever choose to. If I became a fan editor, who would I edit for? I would edit for Squeaks. <laughs> Mainly because, like, you know... Okay, who in my chat has watched a Squeaks stream? Be honest. If you've watched Squeaks before, type 1. If you haven't, watch one of his streams. Or just watch, like, a compilation on YouTube. He's, like, pretty engaged and on the whole time. Like, he's just usually making jokes. And it's really funny. Granted, a lot of the jokes are, like, repeats. Okay, we have one more name left. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points or subscribe with Prime. Do so now. My nails are so cute. Whoa, my... Look, wait. My right hand is so much bigger than my left. Oh my god. It's like fatter. I know I got chubby fingers, but oh my god. It's like a him and hers, you know? I can't. Thank you for redeeming, Kobobo. Not the him and hers. Yeah, I should not be saying that. It's Pride Month. No straights allowed. Uh, chat, type one if you're gay. My fingers are wider on one hand because of my swelling issues. Sag. My right hand is just bigger because I, I use it more. So it, it's strong. Like, look, I can flex. See? Oh, look. See that muscle? Oh, I'm so strong. Okay, this is our last name. Do we have anybody else who wants the name written? Redeem right now. Okay, we're done. I would like to thank you all for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you for hanging out for our, our rare weekend stream. But do not worry. I will be live again later today for the follower general calligraphy. It'll be another short stream. It'll probably be at like 1 or 2 p.m. So that way we got two VODs. If you want something to watch right now, new YouTube video, click the link. Go watch it now. I learned how to drive in-game. It's an edit from the birthday stream. And if you want to stay up to date with all things peace and related, make sure you follow my social media. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. I would say uh, go follow the Twitter because I usually post right before I start stream. That way you can be in offline chat in like weird little emotes. Okay. Happy Pride. I don't have any other Pride streams planned for this month. I got scared after today. <laughs> I got scared. I'm gonna shoot a butt. What time is it? It is 11.51. So I'll go live in about two hours. So about 4 p.m. your time, Rainy.
what else was I going to say? Oh, plan for June is simple. I already leaked the theme, but since it's officially my first stream of June, the theme for June is going to be summer jobs. So I'm going to be doing not one, not two, but a lot of nine to five work sim streams. You know, we're getting our stream hours up because it is summer. It's coming up. It's going to get hotter. And you know what? I got to experience what it's like to be a hard work American. So it'll still be regular, just chatting sprinkled in, still random games sprinkled in. And I have, we still have to beat Super Paper Mario. Yeah, send me your doc later, Mac, whenever you have it done. But I will be doing all of the Papa's Pizzeria franchise games and other work sim games. Oh, that's ink, not a bruise. Yes, the goal is to beat Peace Lock this month. Hopefully, there's probably going to be like maybe three Peace Lock streams left. But I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take to like level for the Elite Four, I'm being honest. But yeah, the goal is also to beat Peace Lock this month. It, I started it in March. Don't beat it. No, I have to unVIP you, Mag. There has to be an incentive, okay? You can't just have your badge forever. Look, I'll take it away right now. I'm kidding. I'm going to be dating a VIP forever at this point? Guys, you know I'm going to have to beat it. I'm going to have to. Dude, my hair looks so bad. Okay, guys. I will see you all in two hours. Goodbye. Pride. Oh, wait. I was going to say love is love. I understand if anybody lives in an area where it's more accepting, be grateful you do. And if you don't, just know that you will always have a safe place here. You're free to express yourself however you feel like here, as long as you're respectful. But I'm really glad. I know we joke all the time that all my viewers are gay. But I'm really glad to have created, you know, a relatively safe place for also myself and the viewers. So thank you guys for helping me build this over the past few years. Genuinely, I feel so comfortable to express myself. In more ways than one. So thank you. Also, hi, Alex. Can we get some yo's? Hello. <sighs> yeah, I'll see you guys in about two hours. I gotta make lunch. It... Yeah, that's the plan. The plan is simple. Yeah, I think I got, like, 20 followers this past month. That's pretty good for a peace in stream. Okay, I've, I've been forgetting to play the outro song for so long. Here we go. You guys have one minute. Any last words? Also, another reason why I'm not doing, like, more Pride content is because, like, I don't want to farm it too much. You know, we love, we love gay people. Me being half gay. But I, I don't want it to be my entire identity. As with anything I do. I'm proud. And I hope everybody else is proud in your own way of yourself.